is alive in Brookings, South Dakota. The top seeded, undefeated South Dakota State Jack Rana in North Dakota State tomorrow. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us alongside Rini and Golia. To receive in blue, we are underway in the FCS semifinal. And the Jack Ramsky, a junior, was a sophomore a year ago who won the national championship for South Dakota State, throwing on first down, right on the money to Jaden Yankee. 27 games of this impressive 27 game winning streak. Handing it off to Davis, weaving his way through for a first down, Isaiah. Davis gets the handoff again, cuts back. Getting a great push, fighting through, churning the legs for. Play action, Gronowski rolls right, turns the corner, has the first down, and gets out of bounds. Free play, Gronowski. Checks it down to the freshman from Sioux Falls, Griffin Wilde, final against the reigning champs, and boy, do they look like it so far tonight. Yankee bounced out of bounds. It's the toughness they play the wide receiver position with. High throw. The tight end, Hines, hauled it in. Only a gain of five. He's Uncle Mark. Well, Uncle Mark decides who gets the football. Hands it off here to Isaiah Davis, wrapped up shy of the first down. First third down of the night. Davis cuts back, breaks a tackle inside the 10. Goal. Gronowski turns back, drilled to the six. What they want here. Davis bottled up, driven back. That's more like it for this Great Danes defense. Clean pocket, slings it to the end zone, it's caught! Touchdown, South Dakota State! Zach Hines hauls it in to open the scoring. Excellent play. Well, there's a reason these Jackrabbits own targets made of here. In the first semifinal in school history, throwing on first down right on the money. It's caught for a big game. Offenbarger, pressure coming, escapes, throws on the run. It's caught, big hit, stays on his feet, Hicks. Quick hitter, caught for the first down. Roy Alexander. Woodell running left, hit again, only a gain of one. Adam Bach, pressure. Play action, Hoffenbarger, it's intercepted. Tucker Large, the safety steps up and takes it away. I think there's three future NFL players on this South Dakota State offensive line. Great protection here, dialing up a deep shot, and it's... Gronowski surveys, now gonna tuck and run. Bounces outside. And he's flushed out inside. One here. Davis untouched into the end zone. Touchdown. The opening drive interception. Set to throw on second and seven. It's caught. Right back to Julian Hicks. That's his third reception. Boots the chip targeted tonight. He had three touchdowns in the quarterfinal win against Idaho. Checking it down to the tight end, Reniger. And let's check in down with Larisha. Gronowski, quick hitter. Yankee breaks the tackle, turns up field. Needed looking for more. Davis. Breaks a tackle. Finally wrapped down a big game. Chip team a year ago with that year of eligibility. Could have played college football anywhere. Decided to stay here in Brookings.
And they've got something special going. He stayed out of this game for now. Lamar Johnson in the backfield, play action. Gronowski steps up, unloads a deep ball, batted away. And off Johnson. Not as effective as Davis, but still takes it for a gain of four. Jack Rabbits three for three on third down tonight. Gronowski trying to pick it up with his feet. He does. Steps on the gas, cuts back, and swung. Davis bulldozing in. Isaiah Davis, his second touch. And it's all Jack Rabbits in this semifinal. Awfully impressive. Isaiah Davis, two touchdowns. His Jack Rabbits up 21 0. Momentum that they could do it right now. Poppenbarger slings. It's caught. That's Brevin Easton with his first carry. And he lost the football. Driven on the road in the program's first ever semifinal. Right back to Easton. Caught. Takes a U Albany bounce. Here's Tucker Large on the return. He's still on his feet. And he's gone. Touchdown, South Dakota State. Excellent blocking by the punt return team. And he makes the first guy miss. And, you know, I talked about the team speed. And it's all over the place. Their dynasty. There's a lot of good football at this level. You are seeing that tonight. Poffenbarger dialing up a bomb. And it's in. They are not giving an inch. Gronowski looking for more. Throwing on first down. Right on the money. A broken tackle. Jaden Yankee. Tonight, guys. In a very big way on a very big stage. Throwing on third down. That's knocked away. Incomplete. Minus three yush, rushing yards for U Albany thus far in this ballgame. Poffenbarger dumps it down. Aiden tangled up. Hit twice in this first half. Leads all of FCS with 36 touchdowns on the season. Slings it out short. Roy Alexander. Poffenbarger right over the middle, right on the money for another first down. I'm like MJ. I'm athletic. I needed to let you know I can get it done. Uh, he needs to be like MJ in the rest of this semifinal, trailing 28-0 right now. Third and 15 after the false start. Poppenbarger has to throw. Slings it. And it's intercepted. Quick hitter. Jackson Yankee turns up field. The yards after the catch tonight have been tremendous. Legs, 50 yards on the ground and 150 yards through the air. Escapes pressure, rolls right. And delivers it on target. Amar Johnson into U Albany territory. Shy of the first down, though, only got nine off the clock. A dominant first half. Mark Gronowski and the Jackrabbits looking for more. Jaden Yank. A deep ball. Gronowski puts it up. It's caught. Just talking about the Yankee twins, the pride of Madeleine's in his first half is an understatement. Jaden Yankee, six receptions. By the top seeded Jackrabbits. Poffenbarger has been picked off three times. Checks it down short to Juliet Hicks. First half, but. Now they've got a lot to be proud of, even making it to this stage for the first time in program history. Poffenbarger slings it out. The sophomore struggled in that first half. He's had some game. Program's first ever trip 
to the FCS semifinals. Ball came out. Jason Freeman, a scoop and score. The Jackrabbits pick up where they left off. And start this second the ball. Half. So nothing there shows me you can overturn it. Well, it came Ball's out, yeah. Out. Great look there. Ball's definitely out. And you see the heads up play by Jason by South Dakota State in all three phases. Best field position you Albany has had all night. Poffenbarger to the end zone, nearly intercepted in what have, would, would have been Man's LA Bowl finishes things off from SoFi Stadium. Isaiah Davis continues his Mark Gronowski and Isaiah Davis still in the game. Starting quarterback and running back, the dynamic duo. Gronowski delivers it right on the money again. Graham Gore bodies this team. Steady, no weaknesses, does his job. You know, the stats themselves aren't necessary. Delicious. They produce 1,400 gallons of ice cream a week during their peak in the summer. So what's one more gas flavor would we go for? I'm a chocolate guy. I'm just, you know, I'm a chocolate vanilla guy. Yeah, that doesn't do much for me. I, I mean, I'll, I don't get me wrong. I'll pretty much eat any. Making it to the semifinal for the first time in school history. Yeah, they got down 14 nothing early. Boffin Barger gets a tight coverage. Put it right there. Now, just need a few more tackles for loss and they'll check them all off tonight. But the biggest one they wanted to check off, Rini, was a the win. The W, yeah. And speaking with some people in the community here in Brookings this week, they remember Rodgers as a player, the passion with hit which he played with. Yeah. He was part of the first group of players notch in the country, let alone FCS. Are you Albany piecing together about jumping up in Delaware. The Blue Hens just announced that they're going to jump up to Conference USA. They could easily do it, and they, they could. In Fargo. They are not done with this win streak yet. The 42-0 lead here. It's dominated by games all over ESPN's family of networks. Isaiah Davis still hard run here at the end of the third quarter. Before that, and played for the Jackrabbits not too long ago. Start of this fourth quarter and South Dakota State for national championship a year ago. Now under 15 minutes away from his, you just said, punching their ticket back to Frisco. Right back to Davis. Breaks free, has the first down. He's over 100 yards rushing tonight. That has been at his best. Instrumental in that national championship a year ago. Well on his way, Gronowski, the quarterback, blocking here for Amar Johnson. Play action, Gronowski, plenty of time, floats it. Touchdown! Second touchdown of the night. Surely that's the last. Under four minutes. A seven touchdown lead. We talked about it, clicking on all cylinders. Another touchdown, Gronowski to Zach Hines. South Dakotans uh, did a lot of great things, you know, biggest win in program history last week against Idaho. You come here and you just run into a, you know, I've said this word, a juggernaut. I mean, this team, South Dakota State. They are. This will be 28 straight wins, the longest active streak in all of college football. They'll go try and defend their national title, Chase Mason in a quarterback for this drive. Very capable with his feet, and he shows that off with a quarterback keeper. South Dakota native, started his college career at Nebraska, and he just threw his first passing touchdown of the game.
Griffin will put the cherry on top of this FCS semifinal. Rini, we're running out of superlatives. Yeah. There's still eight minutes left in this game. Listen, they didn't get a field goal block today. T7 straight wins, longest streak in all of college football. And at seven minutes and 34 seconds, it'll be 28 straight. Another hard hit. All seeing, you know, a, a team's performance. And they're still going. You would think it's a tie game looking at the effort. Angel Johnson's find his weapons. They surely did tonight. Right back into the red zone. They make it look so easy. And he puts it right through. Not the, the Jack. And at home, I think it's a tough place to play. But listen, NDSU, Matt Entz, who's, oh, by the way, leaving to go to USC. South Dakota State. And if you're like me and this is your first time watching the Jackrabbits live, a team that doesn't get on national television all too often. Just ran into a great, great program here in Brookings. Now it's South Dakota State's hoping on January 7th. They are the one team that ends. Jackrabbits await the winner of Montana and North Dakota State. Dakota State headed to the FCS championship for the third time in the last four seasons looking for back-to-back -back titles.